So we're back with game two of Legacy after the game one was the world's fastest Legacy match. Uh, Luke is keeping his hand this time. I don't even recall what he was playing. The man last match went that fast. Oh, he's on sneak attack. Two Chancellor of the Annex again from Eric. <laughs> and Luke is not happy. So it means he can't Luca can't play his first spell until he's got he's got to pay twice for it. But if if we look at I'm not an expert on this um, format, but I don't see what yeah. So the Lotus Petal is going to get get countered by the annexes. Um, yeah, Luca's sorry Eric's saying he kept a risky hand. That's Eric's hand is on the board that you see at the bottom. He basically he's got nothing. Not sh he's, he, I think he's looking for one land. He can then faithless loot and then reanimate, but he's not going to find it. And he's going to have to pass the turn. Oh, he's, he's going to faithless loot to try and find the land, and he doesn't. Okay, so he can use Chrome Mox to. Chrome Mox will do the trick. As you see him toss Grizzlebrand and the Chancellor into the bin. He needs to exile a black card. Possibly Dark Ritual it must be, yep. Now he can reanimate. And he's gonna reanimate a Grizzlebrand, not a Chancellor. Passes the turn, so he can draw the he can draw the cards on um, Luca's turn. <laughs> <laughs> he says his risky hand worked out. I don't see. Okay, so uh, this is an entertaining contest. He's gonna s sneak attack. He's got the mana to activate sneak attack, and he'll sneak Emrakul, and Emrakul's gonna take down the Grizzlebrand and the Chrome Mox, and he's going to be able to Blood Moon next turn. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is one of the more entertaining legacy matches that I've done. Emrakul will wipe out Chrome Mox and Grizzlebrand. I wonder if Eric should have, in hindsight, I mean hindsight's an easy thing, I wonder if he should have gone for the Chancellor instead of the Grizzlebrand. <laughs> Oh, he's conceded, so we're going to game three. 